Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve the first question from exercise 3.1 from the chapter pair of linear equations in two variables. Form the pair of linear equations in the following problems and find their solutions graphically. That means we have to first make some equations out of the given question and then we have to represent those equations on the graph and from the graph we have to find the solution. Let us see the first question here. 10 students of class 10 took part in a mathematics quiz. If the number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys, find the number of boys and girls who took part in the quiz. So here let us take the number of boys as x and number of girls as y. So total number of students in class 10 is given as 10. That means number of boys plus number of girls is equal to 10. So let us write the equation here. And the total number of students are given as 10. So 10 is equal to number of boys we took as x plus number of girls we have taken as y. So let me rewrite this. I'm going to write y on one side of the equal to sign and x I am going to take on the other side. So here rearranging this equation I get y is equal to 10 stays the same and I am moving x on the other side of equal to sign. So plus x becomes minus x. So here it is y equal to 10 minus x. So let us consider this as our equation 1. So one equation is being formed. Now the second statement is if the number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys. That means number of girls equal to y is 4 more than boys. So we can write here number of girls as y is equal to number of boys were x and girls are 4 more than. So 4 more than means we have to add 4 to the number of boys. So this forms our second equation. So let us take it as now these are the two equations we found from the given data. We have to find out the number of boys and number of girls graphically. That is by graphing these two. So let us consider the graph now. So this is the graph where the x-axis represents the number of boys and the y-axis which we have taken as y represents the number of girls. And here is the scale written where x axis I have taken one unit that is one block is equal to one centimeter and the y axis is also one block that is one unit is equal to one centimeter. So you can see here one two three four the difference between each block is just one. Same repeats for the y axis as well. Now here I have taken the first equation which we had got that is y equal to 10 minus x where y represents the number of girls and x represents the number of boys. Now here I have made three blocks. So now let me take some values of x and substitute in this equation to get the value of y. So here I am going to take the first value of x as 2, then 4 and then 6. You can choose any values of x depending on the graph you have drawn. So here when I take x equal to 2, in the first case y becomes equal to 10 minus 2 because our x we have taken as 2. So 10 minus 2 we get it as 8. So here we put when x is 2, y is 8. Now let us take x equal to 4. So here same thing repeats. In place of x we put 4. So 10 minus 4 becomes 6. So here let us write 6 and finally we have taken 6 over here in place of x. So let us substitute here. In place of x we will put 6. So 10 minus 6 gives us 4. So here we get 4. Now let us mark these values on the graph and draw the line. Here we have x equal to 2. It is over here. When x is 2 y is 8. So we go over here and mark a cross. x is 2 and y is 8. 
Now let us see the second one. When x is 4, y is 6. Our x is 4 here and here we have 6. And finally we have 6 and 4. When x is 6, y is 4. So we get another point over here. So now we'll just join the crosses and draw a straight line passing through those crosses. So it is this way. Now just above this line, write down the equation. Here it's going to be y equal to 10 minus x. So this line represents this equation. Now you can write down the coordinates of each point if you need or it is not necessary. Now let us look at the second equation we have. So this was our second equation y equal to x plus 4. Now similarly I have taken x and y. Again you can take any three values of x. So here I am going to choose 0 and I am going to choose 3 and 5 because these three are on the graph. Now let us do the same thing that is y equal to x plus 4. So let us first take in place of x we have 0 plus 4. So 0 plus 4 gives us 4. So our y value will become 4 when x is 0. Now let us take x equal to 3. So let us check what will be our y value. So it becomes in place of x we are replacing 3. So 3 plus 4 gives us 7. So let me take it as 7. And then finally we have 5. So here in place of x we will just remove this and replace it with 5. So y equal to 5 plus 4 gives us 9. So here we get 9. Now let us mark these points over here. So here we have when x is 0 y is 4. So let us mark it. When x is 0, y is 4. That would be here. When x is 3, y is 7. So let us find it out. It is going to be over here. And next one is when x is 5, y is 9. So x is 5 and y is 9. That would be over here. So 1, 2, 3. To draw the straight line, you need two coordinates. But if you want to be more precise, 3 would be good. So here I have used 3 coordinates, 1, 2 and 3. So let me join the dots. So it's over here, here and here. Now let us write down the equation of this line. So this line represents your y equal to x plus 4. Now to find out the solution graphically, solution represents where the two lines cross each other the point where they both meet. That represents the solution to these two equations. So they both meet at y equal to 7 and at x equal to 3. So these are the two coordinates. So this is the point. We write the x coordinate first which is 3 and y coordinate which is 7. So here we have x is equal to 3 and y equal to 7 which means number of boys were 3 and number of girls were 7 because we have taken x as number of boys and y as number of girls. So this is the solution which we have got graphically. Now let us move on to the second question where we need to implement a similar strategy. 5 pencils and 7 pens together cost rupees 50. Whereas 7 pencils and 5 pence together cost rupees 46. Find the cost of 1 pencil and that of 1 pen. So here is the given question and we need to make equations out of it. And we know that there are 5 pencils, 7 pence and 7 pencils and 5 pence. But we do not know the cost of each pencil and each pen. So let us consider the cost of each pencil as x and cost of each pen as y. So cost of one pencil we have taken as rupees x and cost of one pen as rupees y. Now here 5 pencils and 7 pens together cost 50 rupees. So let us make an equation out of it. 
So pencil cost we have taken as x. So if there are 5 pencils then cost is going to be 5x. So 5x together, together means we are going to add plus 7 pence. So 1 pen cost is y. So 7 pence cost is going to be 7y. So together they are going to cost 50 rupees. So we'll write equal to 50. Similarly, we have 7 pencils and 5 pence. So 7 pencils cost is going to be 7x plus cost of 5 pence is going to be 5y and together it is going to cost us 46 rupees. So these are the two equations we have got. So let us consider this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Now here in equation 1 and 2, I am going to make a certain rearrangement and keep y on one side of the equal to sign and rest of the terms on the other side. So for example, for equation 1, I am going to take 5x on the other side of equal to sign. So I get it as 7y equals 50 is in its position, but I am moving 5x on the other side of equal to sign. So plus 5x becomes minus 5x. So 50 minus 5x. Next, I am going to divide on both the sides by 7. So let me show it over here. So here I am going to divide by 7 and here as well I am going to divide by 7. So 7 divides 7, that is 7 1 times, 7 1 times and I am left with y equal to, on this side we have 50 minus 5x divided by 7. So this is my new equation and I am going to consider this as equation 1 now. So I will not take this as my equation 1. So this is my new equation 1. Similarly, I am going to do the same thing for my equation 2. That is I am going to take 7x on the other side of equal to sign. So 5y is equal to 46 stays in its place and 7x goes on the other side. So plus 7x becomes minus 7x. And since I need only y on one side of the equal to sign, I am going to divide both sides by 5. So divided by 5, divided by 5. And here 5 cancels each other, they divide each other 5 1 times, 5 1 times. And we are left with y is equal to 46 minus 7x divided by 5. So this is going to be my equation 2 now. So this is not my equation 2, this is my new equation 2. Now let us consider these two equations to draw the graph. So here you can see that I have drawn the x-axis as cost of pencil and y-axis as cost of pen. And the scale is taken as x-axis is 1 unit or 1 block as 1 centimeter. And the same thing is taken for the y-axis. And the first equation is considered over here, that is y equal to 50 minus 5x divided by 7. Now, choose the value of x in such a way that the numerator value gets perfectly divided by denominator. Means, if you take x equal to 1, now here you get 50 minus 5 times 1, that is 5, divided by 7. So here you will get it as 50 minus 5 is 45 divided by 7. As you can see that 45 cannot be divided by 7. You will be ending up getting a decimal value if you go to divide it. So avoid this and take the value of x in such a way that when you simplify this, it is perfectly divisible by the denominator. Now let us consider the first value of x as x equal to 3. Now let us take x equal to 3 and see if it is perfectly divisible by 7. So here we will write y equal to 50 minus 5 multiplied with 3. So 5 times 3 gives us 15 divided by 7. Now 50 minus 15 gives us 35 divided by 7 and this is perfectly divisible by 7 which will give us y equal to 5. So when x equal to 3, we get y equal to 5. Now let us take the next value of x as 10. So let us consider x equal to 10. 
so here let us just simplify for x equal to 10 let us see what we will get so here we get 5 times 10 as 50 so 50 minus 50 gives you 0 and 0 divided by 7 gives us 0 so here we got the value of y as 0 so we have got the two values now so two coordinates are enough to draw a straight line let us mark it out now so first coordinate is when x is 3 we get y equal to 5 so when x is 3 y is equal to 5 that would be here and the next one is when x is 10 y is 0 so when x is 10 y is 0 so that would be over here so once we have got these two points let us draw a straight line going through those two so we have now from this point to this point let me just move it a little bit so it's over here and passing like this so let us write down the equation of this line it was for y equal to 50 minus 5x divided by 7 now let us consider the second equation so this is our second equation y equal to 46 minus 7x over 5 again we are going to choose the value of x in such a way that the numerator gets completely divided by the denominator 5 so here I am going to consider the value of x as 3 first so let us see what we get y equals 46 minus 7 times 3 divided by 5 so that is going to give us 46 minus 7 times 3 is 21 divided by 5 so 46 minus 21 gives us 25 divided by 5 which is nothing but 5 so 25 divided by 5 gives us 5 so let us write over here when x is 3 y is 5 now the next value for x I am going to consider is 8 so let us check what we get so here I am going to replace x with 8 this will change and this will change and answer as well so when x is 8 we get 46 minus 7 times 8 is 56 so 46 minus 56 gives us negative 10 divided by 5 and this will give us negative 2 that is negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2 so here let us write negative 2 now we have to come back and plot it on the graph the coordinates so when x is 3 y is 5 so let us check when x is 3 where is 5 okay when x is 3 y is 5 it will be again over here and when x is 8 y is negative 2 when x is 8 y is negative 2 that would be over here so let me join the two points so it's going to be from this point till this point so let us move this a little bit okay so this line is for the equation y equal to 46 minus 7x divided by 5 now we have to find out the solution now the solution is where the two lines will cross each other or the intersecting point of the two lines so we can see that it intersects at this point whose y point is 5 and whose x point is 3 so it would be over here so we have here first we write the x coordinate 3 comma y coordinate which is 5 so here our x was cost of pencils so x equal to 3 so cost of one pencil is 3 rupees so let me write here rupees 3 and y that is cost of each pen is going to be rupees 5 so these are the values or costs of pen and pencil I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. 
and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching